Today I confronted Boogie2988 on a crypto pump and dump he did where he got paid $10,000 to promote a coin. And he said that he thought that just because he said, hey, don't buy this unless you're rich, uh, that nobody was going to put their money in. A few hours later, $3 million worth of trading volume what? had been done. And what? Who? A few hours later, three. What? No, did he say billion? $3 million worth of one billion three million volume what i mean okay trading volume had been done and i tried to tell him and explain to him that that's how these deals work insiders pay you the celebrity to go ahead and promote something they paid him ten thousand dollars and then people end up buying the coin. It doesn't matter what you say the whole point is they're renting your likeness renting your image in order to do that he then told me, well, you know, basically he's paying for cancer, so he can't pay that money back. You know what's really sad? I think it's sad that Boogie, who's obviously poor because he's bad with money, and Boogie, whose audience is probably, I don't even know who watches Boogie, but these companies, these gambling or crypto companies or whatever, they really do target the most vulnerable. And I think that's important as a business model. Who does your business model target? I think is a part of your decision and in, in how you do business. Like I'm, you know, that's what I think I would ask myself. I, you know, I do have people reaching out to do sponsorships with me and I just don't feel comfortable pushing out products that I just don't like or know, especially since right now I just watched a video on this. There's just too much of a market of bad items. I don't trust reviews. I don't have the right information. I ask about the quality of the item and it's so hard to find out if it's real or not. There's just so many people not being honest with reviews, let alone, you know, coins. You know, it's kind of difficult to know like who to even trust, but definitely probably not a finance YouTuber. Back, it's all spent, money's spent, money's gone. Um, and I tried to get to the bottom of why he did it why I think that he didn't actually care. Well, because he needs money. Because Boogie's stupid. Well, he's like a self-destructive person. He wants money. Air, whether it was a scam or not. Because he actually came to me ahead of time. It was a really weird story where he came to Whoa. my DMs before he fully launched the coin. He had just oh. done an announcement tweet saying, hey, you know, uh, at pump.fun, which is the platform he was launching on. And then he said to me, hey, I got a question for you. Something like that. And I said, I looked at his Twitter profile and I said, don't do what I think you're about to do. Oh, God. And he said, oh, it's too late. Like, I already spent the money. Boogie seems like the kind of guy who wants to say he did his due diligence without doing his due diligence. Like, he's going to take the money. Look, this guy is desperate. He's, he's, but that's the thing is, I kind of, I think this will always be the question. Andrew Tate said he wasn't any more unethical than anyone else in his industry. And I think we need to have a conversation about that and that's what i've been trying to say for years but i think i just say it so wrong people don't understand you can't tell one person in the ecosystem not to be like everybody else in the ecosystem you have to understand it's they're not alone it's not one person scamming everybody scams and everyone's taught to scam and the whole culture around it is to scam you saying like scamming's unethical doesn't matter when there's a whole fucking industry of scammers and if there are scammers in America, scammers outside of America, there's scammers that would target kids, old people, the vulnerable. You can't say to one person, don't be a scammer. You have to understand why they're scammers in the first place. What brought them to the point of feeling comfortable enough to do this kind of work? And it's so much bigger than the people you spend your time going after. And I think that's why I don't believe, like, like unless you're an actual activist who understands what you're doing, which is tackling systems, activism should be about systems, not people. And if you don't understand that, that you're not really interested in activism or you're interested in some sort of, like, credit activism, that's why I've never loved CoffeeZilla. Because it feels like he goes after people and not systems, and I just don't give a fuck. Like, say you're on, like, say you're social commentary, then it's fine, right? Like, like he's kind of social commentary in a way. I just don't always understand, like, why does he feel so superior to everybody else? Because I don't know anything about this man's life. So it's kind of, I guess, easy to feel that way. But also, Boogie didn't just get here from nowhere. Boogie is exactly the kind of person who would do anything for money. Why? And it's so much more than he's a scammer. 
he is the epitome of like a person who can't be introspective enough to help himself. Right? Kelsey says you put a little boogie in it. <laughs> Dance emojis. You do obviously hold boogie to some responsibility, obviously. But I just want to know what makes a boogie in the first place because that's much more interesting, right? What makes a boogie in the first place? That's the question I don't think we're willing to answer because it's too hard. Hospital bills and stuff. Um, so I, I thought it was really weird. Like, why would you come to the guy who busts scams if you thought it was all on the up and up? Uh, because that's what he tries to say is, no, if I had only known, if I'd only seen ahead of time what this was, I wouldn't have done it. Uh, very strange story, though. I want you to hear from Boogie2988 mm -hmm. himself, though, about this. Decide what you think. In general, I think it's fine to say people should not be investing in memes. I just think it's also obvious that marketers wouldn't pay people if people didn't fall for this stuff. Mm. Ultimately, they are scamming your fans. They get on, yeah. in on the coin early. They sell as your fans pile in. I hope we can continue to expose celebrities who do this, such as Boogie. Mm -hmm. um, desperate or not, it's not okay. There are other mm. ways to make money mm -hmm. and... Yeah, Agreed. here's the call Agreed. we had. Boogie, it looks like you launched a crypto token uh, that is a scam, a pump and dump. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, I don't think it's a pump and dump. It is a meme coin. It's literally it from is. a thing called Pump.Fun. What are you talking about? I didn't. I never knew who Pump.Fun was until today. Well, that's what you working. tweeted. That's what you tweeted. You said, oh, right. we're going to break. But I, I learned about it today, so I also tweeted about it today. Uh, try to find a time I tweeted about it before today. You won't because I just found out that I didn't know who this company is or these people I'm working with other than they came referred to me by Afro Man's manager. Right, but and you said before you posted the pump and dump, you said we're going to crush the internet, pump.fun. You didn't realize at that point you're doing a pump and dump that you're getting paid by insiders to do this? Well, not really, because again, if you watch the video that I launched this with, the entire video, the entire bit, the entire joke is I lost all of my money in crypto. But I'm here to tell you the truth and the hacks to help you break free from the matrix so you can be a brokey like me. True happiness comes from a goldfish. Okay, so he's making like an Andrew Tate parody, but for like losers. Well, Andrew Tate is a loser. It's just a he's a rich loser from the same woman a couple of nights a month and the occasional meme coin. Fatty for life. <laughs> Here's my shit coin. If you want to be broke too, buy my shit coin. That's what I say in my tweets. Mm, so it's like a joke coin, but of course his viewers will buy it. And when he says like, don't buy this unless you're rich, do you think like a bunch of rich people are watching you boogie? It's a cash grab, right? It is a cash grab, which is the problem. Mm. What's the joke about you getting paid to do this, though, and asking people to invest in this coin? I mean, what, what's the joke exactly? You know people are going to invest. That's why you're getting paid. You know that. People would buy one coin to come onto the, the server and hang out and fuck around. That's what I thought. That's my understanding. And that was the point. You know, when we they were pitching this to me, they're like, don't be. I mean, obviously, to some extent, his audience has got to be held responsible for their action to some extent. Like, he must be, does he have the most brain dead audience? Like, again, what makes people trust content creators or anybody really? Look, even if you listen to Dave Ramsey or any, or Dr. Kirkonda, like, you're, there's still people on the internet, okay? And they're not your personal therapist or financial advisor. They're never talking to you directly. So this isn't about you. So do we need to teach media literacy? Do we need to teach people the difference between watching somebody and taking their every word? Like, don't get me wrong. Dave Ramsey's, um, like his steps have helped so many of my family members get out of debt. And I think he gives great advice to people that are serious about trying to like figure out the first steps of saving their first thousand dollars since most Americans don't have a thousand dollars. Like they struggle to even have a thousand dollars or whatever. So but at the same time, you don't need to take everything he says as like a pot of gold in the same way that if he, if Boogie had a coin and you were his fan and you wanted to help him out or you wanted to invest, 
yeah, invest what, like a few bucks or a hundred bucks, but not like a thousand dollars and maybe not $10,000. So then it's a question of like, at what point I feel like everybody has to be slightly responsible in like different ways. And maybe the most responsible person I would argue is the system, but then the system is a reflection of people as a whole. And so at that point, a human's going to human, I guess like logan paul don't be these other people we want you active in the community we want you to talk we want you to be there this is your community be part of it and so it seems very easy for me to do this with another company to collect you are asking people to invest in a financial product not just a community right you understand that this is not like hey pay pay a buck and you get access to my community people think that they're going to make money that is why there's $3 million of trading volume on this little shit coin that you just promoted. Well, I told them they won't make money. I literally told you, you'll go broke buying this coin. You, I you told, can't I think in, in the tweets and in the videos. Why doesn't Boogie just have a Patreon where he gets a discord and you have to pay for the discord? Yeah, that part is confused. I think I'm just as confused as CoffeeZilla. Like, why would you go into a finance? Because he wanted the $10,000. He wanted the upfront payment. He doesn't want to do the work himself and build up his Patreon. You remember when we did his Caleb Hammer episode? I think he was making, what, $300 on Patreon, maybe less. It's because you're not uplifting your community. You're not, you, you want a community? Like, utilize your Patreon. That's the point of Patreon is so your viewers support the content in a much more direct way. And so you don't have to take sponsorships like crypto. That's kind of the the idea of actually being a content creator that has like a community. It's so you don't have to take bad sponsorship deals. I said, don't buy this coin. You'll go broke. If you want to be broke like me, buy this coin. There's literally no like way that. you believe you're going to get paid $10,000 for something. And those people mm -hmm. aren't expecting a greater return on their investment. This is how meme coins work. Their money back, but I mean, there are plenty of companies that I've worked with that are just there to get their name out and they're glad to make their money back or even spend the money to get name recognition. I can name a dozen. These people are spending money to get pump.fun meme coin name recognition? I don't, I, I presume. Let me explain how this works, Boogie. How, let me explain how this works. Pump.fun is a place where a lot of things happen, but... Celebrities will launch meme coins. How it works is insiders pay them for their brand to juice it for all it's worth. They buy in mm. early. They have the influencer promote it. The mm. price jumps up because no matter what the influencer says, the <sighs> attention gets people to put money in the stupid project. Get it together, Boogie. Tara says Boogie is always the victim. It's never his fault. He does nothing. Um, he never does anything wrong. Literally. Boogie's the worst, bro. His introspection level is so low. Check, no matter how much... You tell them, oh, it's a meme, guys. It's just a joke. It's just a fun little joke. They're going to put their money in because they like you. And they're going to get rugged. They're going to get destroyed by the insiders who got in early on the coin. They have all the advantage because they got in early. All your fans have the disadvantage because they got in late. These coins always spike at the beginning. They always die. Mm. You, you think you're going to be around this community for a long time. You're not. Mm. Within six months, this thing is going to be dead. Jeez. I mean, if the community is dead, I won't have anybody to talk to. Exactly. So there it is. Left the server, but I, if, there's, if there's people to talk to, I'll talk to them. Why wouldn't I? Because you got paid up front. Sure. How, okay. Brother, I don't know if you understand what my life is like right now, but I have so much free time that I spend a lot of it on my Discord now because I'm just bored. Ooh, if only he spent that free time working. Ooh, if only he spent that free time making content. Oh, he's so fucking bored. All he can do is spend time on his Discord. Why don't you turn it into a paid Discord to support you in your content? Out of my mind. I don't have places to go. I don't have money to spend. I'm literally just fighting for my life over here. Ugh. And a lot of that involves staying home, spending my money where it needs to be spent, and trying to just not stress myself. He's fighting for his life out here, right? I'm about to make my polycythemia vera any worse. How, how much did you get paid for this total? I was given $5,000 up front with a promise of $5,000 on the back end after a week of coming on the Telegram, doing some live streams, doing some tweets about it. And uh, all along the way, 
talking about how it's a shit coin that'll make you go broke. You you know why they tell you to do it for a week, right? That's how much time they need to get out, out of the coin. They're going to slowly drain the coin as people buy in. Jesus. They're going to use whatever's worth of your name to dump on your fans. You know that. Well, I, if you're telling me that, I believe you. That's how meme coins work. I told you in DMs not to do this. You you came to me because you, you were about to launch this coin. It was launched. You told me after my first tweet. I I I, can't, I literally said to you the the question before that was like, hey man, can we talk real quick? You said don't do it. I, I said I have some questions. And you said don't do it. Um, but at that point today, it was already too late. The first tweet was out. And no, you no 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 no. There was no contract. There was no video out. You. The money is already spent. That's it's it's at it's at Mercy Hospital right now. It's gone. I used it to pay debts. I used it to pay medical debts. So I you I, didn't like, have to tweet that tweet. You didn't have to tweet it out. You came to you said you like did the like pre announcement hype thing, and then you sent you sent me a message asking me, oh, I've got some questions. I immediately tell you don't yeah. do it. Then you don't listen to me. You say it's too late. I cast the check. Need it for medical bills. Isn't it just a shit coin, a meme? No one's actually going to buy the thing. And then $3 million worth of trading volume happened. Mm. Yeah, I was not expecting that, obviously. You know who was expecting that? The people who paid you. $10,000. I obviously don't want anybody to lose money. I thought there was going to be some trading. I thought people would buy enough. I don't understand this idea of financial trading not being about losing money. It's just like a version of gambling unless you put it into like really consistent stocks, right? Like isn't Bitcoin the gamble? So isn't anyone who's engaging in any kind of coin gambling and kind of encouraging their viewers to gamble and therefore lose money? What is this narrative of like, I didn't want anyone to lose money? What does that even mean if you're dealing with a coin? enough coins to join the community and come and fuck around and have fun i thought they might spend a little bit of money like they do on cameo or, or patreon or only fans to have some personal interaction then do that do a patreon that's what i was expecting i wasn't expecting anybody to think they're going to make money from this especially because i specifically told them you will not make money from this don't you think it's um kind of gross given that mm. you know firsthand almost better than anyone the damage that yep. speculative investments can do, mm -hmm. that you would then make money from a speculative investment like this? I put my money in the crypto market in the wrong section, and I pretty much lost most of everything. Wow. Right, that's why I'm telling people don't make a speculative investment here because I lost my ass. Like if you watch the video, hopefully you'll include it in your video, parts of it. But in the video, I talk about how broke I am, how I lost my money on crypto. I talk about if you want to be broke like me, join my community. And Alice says, is he dumb, lazy, or manipulative, or none? I think he's the kind of person that has an excuse for everything, that always has a reason why, is always the victim. I think he's just severely a traumatized person. I think it's a combination of his genetics and his upbringing. Like, no matter what, Boogie's just that person you know in your life who never gets their life together. Remember the video I made just now, Would You Date a Broke Boy? You remember the, co the question of would you love him if he was broke? Would you love him if he couldn't get his life together? Boogie can't get his life together. He cannot fucking figure it out. And that's the red flag. The red flag is Boogie, no matter how many times people have helped him out, no matter how many times he's made the news or had access, cannot figure it out. He just can't figure it the fuck out. That's the red flag. The red flag is not about him not having money. The red flag is that even when he has money, he loses it. He doesn't even know what to do. He was allegedly a crypto millionaire. And lost it. Whatever category of person that is, complete red flag. And look, somebody's got to be that person. And it's Boogie. So I kind of don't feel bad for the fans who fall for Boogie stuff. Because at this point, like, they have to be other Boogies. Right? It's got to be a Boogie taking advantage of another Boogie. Because what person in their right mind would even watch Boogie invest in him or believe in him at this point? Like, how? Like, just just they have to be as damaged as he is they have to be toxic enough to feel like at home with him right you're doing a satire of andrew tate's crypto coin that's what you're doing yeah 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 where okay whereas he's saying join it make money i'm saying join it lose money and you think that's okay to then financially tie money for yourself 
where you could hurt your audience. Do you think that's fine as long as you say, oh, join it and you can lose some money? Even though you know you with your following, people are going to invest in that. I mean, I, I, I'm steadfast in this. Yes I, I, yes, I believe that if I got paid to tell you don't buy something. When he said, I don't want any of my fans to lose money, also buy this coin if you want to be broke like me, girl. I'll gladly take that money. If I get paid to tell you this will might be dangerous for you, uh, invest smartly. Yes, I think I, I would love to get paid. I'd love to be paid to be an example of somebody who lost their ass in crypto and, and then teach people that very important lesson. I think that's a very good lesson to learn. You think making people lose money, that's a good lesson? <sighs> no, I wanted to keep them from doing that. I wanted to get the message out to make sure they didn't. That's the point. I thought it would go viral as a meme coin, as a joke, as a comedy bit. I thought that oh, it would make Oh, he's trying to save everybody. He's a saint. Saint Boogie. Laugh. I thought people an investment is laugh. never a comedy. Like people who are trying to tie comedy to investments, it's, it's hilarious. To make an investment. I didn't expect anybody to make a large investment. Why would they? I told them not to. Okay. Okay. Um, let me ask you this. When were you paid the 5000 Honestly, shout out to CoffeeZilla for like handling this so well and getting this because this is so interesting to me. So shout out. Five days ago? Five days ago. ago. Less than a week. Were you paid in cash or were you paid in like crypto? Cash, obviously, yeah. Okay. And you're yeah, being... I, I hold none of... I, as far as I know, it's my understanding I hold none of this coins. I don't have any coins in my wallet. Uh, it's my understanding they've set aside 2% for me, but I don't have a way to receive that. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I don't know what good that does me. And 2% of nothing... Bookie's like a kid, bro, who just like when people are like, trust me, bro, he's like, okay. But does he do that so he can feign ignorance after? That's the question. Is Boogie pretending he doesn't know, but he knows better? Or does he actually deliberately stay naive so he can play victim after? I cannot tell. I thought it was nothing anyway, so who cares? No, but now the, the coin is, <laughs> your coin that you told no one to buy is being bought, unsurprisingly. And now... It is worth something. Are you then going to sell that too? If you get a hold of it, are you going to sell it? No, I will not sell. I, I won't be able to get a hold of it. I don't have a wallet anymore. Well, they can just sell it for you. They can just make money for you. Are you going to take it? If I'm being genuine with you, and I do want to be genuine with you and the rest of the internet, I'm in pretty dire need of money. Uh, I have a lot of medical bills, mm -hmm. and I'm fighting cancer, and I'd very much like not to, uh, not to, you know, fuck around with my health care too much, but that's something I would genuinely have to consider. And I know that from watching your videos in the past, if I say maybe here, uh, a lot of people are going to take that as a no, and, and it might end up being a no. Uh, so I may as well give you a hard no here, because uh, I I very, very much need the money. I'm on a, I'm on... Eighteen hundred dollars for the medications right now. I need the money to pay for that. I have a two thousand dollar a month mortgage. I, I I genuinely would like very much to keep my home. I'd very much like, but I don't want to do it at the price of ripping anybody off. And I, I that I is kind of what's happened here a, a little bit, though. You know that. Yeah, I mean, you've informed me of that, and I'm very sorry for that. I I hope people listened. I hope people heard what I had to say. I hope people. Remember, like, you're buying into a community that's there to make fun of me for losing my ass. That's the entire point of the community. You're supposed to, as a crypto bro, come in and maybe you throw me a bone because you know I have medical bills and shit to pay. Uh, but that's for millionaires. I want multi-millionaires who made more They're money really not them. throwing you a bone, though. They're throwing the people who paid you a bone. Like, the people who are investing in this coin are enriching not you the most, but the people who paid you. And that's the whole grift. It's like I mean, people are getting celebrities to rent out their reputations to milk them for all their worth. But you're describing, a, I, 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 I charge for memberships on YouTube. YouTube takes half. You're talking about a grift that every company does on the entire internet. I didn't think it would be an unfair percentage. I didn't mm. think otherwise I wouldn't have signed up for it. No, I'm talking about I, a I, pump and dump because this is not, this is not some kind. It's totally different. They're not comparable. That's why it would have been better for him just to have memberships or Patreon or something else. It's literally not the same thing. Like this coin isn't meant to be sustainable long term. It is meant to fail. 
is what he's trying to explain to Boogie. Ingrid said weaponized, weaponized incompetence. I think there's a huge part of that. Sarah says reminder that his ex-wife was his caretaker. I don't think he had to do much of anything for a long time. Now he has a girlfriend probably doing the bulk of the work at home. Well, remember, right, that he did get divorced, that Boogie was married. And that the problem with being with Boogie is that this is always your life. And he is this way in every facet of his life, right? And that's the problem is like, it's not just in business, it's in life. Everything is the end of the world for Boogie. Everything is hard for Boogie. Boogie has the hard life. Everybody else has the easier life. Boogie has the hard life. And you know, that's why I say it's not about money or success. Boogie had money and success. And he's still a useless human being. And that's because he can't get his life together. And I don't mean useless in some derogatory way. I mean, quite literally, name something he's useful for. He's not useful to himself or his communities. There was a time on YouTube when he was known as what? Mr. Rogers, right? Isn't that such an ironic, like, turnaround? It's like, you know, there's all, there's all these, like, predators on YouTube. But worse than a predator, there's also all these, like, false facades of niceness and kindness that's just a person looking to like exploit your kindness so they can use your money. Like that pop the balloon guy, Aaron, not only came out with a huge record behind his um, reputation, like huge record. I don't want to say what it is. Allegedly, it might have to do with trafficking. Anyways, but also when that he did the GoFundMe, he got like $13,000, the Ninja Turtle guy. He, he was throwing it at people like a stripper, which we love making it rain, but he was literally just taking that money and spending it. This guy who allegedly has $100,000 in his bank account. There's just a group of people on the planet that are useless, useless to themselves and other people. They're always victims. Woe is me while talking a big fucking game. I bet if you ask Boogie, are you a smart man? Are you a capable person? He'd be like, of course I'm capable. Prove it. Prove that you're capable in any fucking way. It's just kind of crazy, but take note that it's not just money. It's your, it's about your character and Boogie just has the worst, the worst. Kind of like obvious, oh, this is a membership. This is to make money, right? That's what meme coins are about, making money. Well, I, I accept the fact that you're telling me I'm ripping people off and I accept that that might very well be true and I don't mean to be. And it was not my intention. My intention was to be a spectacle as I've always chosen to be on YouTube for people to look and laugh and realize that I'm the fat, dumb idiot that lost his money. And oh, you're the fat, dumb idiot who lost. I, ew, gross. These type of people are just so disgusting to me. They're just gross, okay? I don't know what it is. I'm sure we'll find out one day how to help people like them. Because obviously, you know, this just isn't reasonable to treat yourself this way and to not know that this is this is so unreasonable the way he treats himself. And again, I don't have much patience for grown men this year. I'm very uh, depleted in my energy. OK, but Boogie has that woe is me attitude, constantly the victim. And it's also all about like, I want people to laugh at me. I want, I'll be the center of the joke. It's like, so Jesus. Yes. Sarah says such a whiny baby. He's so fucking whiny. Do you see why I don't like complaining? I don't mind if you vent after a long day. I get it. But the whining, the whining. Oh, oh. Ingrid says the self-loathing is just obnoxious. Obnoxious. Crypto to drive home the point that crypto is not a smart or safe investment, and you have to be very careful with your money. This I said that in the video. I said that on the the Telegram. I said it on Twitter, and I'll say it again here. And I genuinely do not think anybody would think that this isn't that some that grand point. You're just making 10k. This is just you making 10k. I think you can do both. <laughs> I think you can make a point and get paid to do it. I think you can do both. Are you getting paid from this video? Will you be making a point in this video? Am I, I going to be am I going to be selling a product? Am I going to be selling a crypto token? No. I don't know. Will it have an advertisement? I don't know. I don't know how you run your channel these days. I haven't seen you in a while. Okay. Wow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I don't know if you'll run an ads on this, and I don't know if you have a sponsor, but you might. Do you think that's the same thing as a financial selling a financial product? I thought it was going into it. I'm now beginning to believe uh, that you're correct. He's gaslighting us, right? He's like gaslighting everybody. He's like gaslighting us. Obviously, these things aren't the same. Uh, that's not. Okay, now that you, if you start to believe that I'm correct, are you willing to 
try to avoid the damage you might do to people by one, not selling your tokens, and two, maybe giving back the back half of, you said the first half is spent. I don't know if that's true. I'm this is so, he's so frustrating. Kenny says, I don't even believe it's real self-loathing. It's just like manipulation for reassurance. But then Discord said, well, he said he was a vulnerable narcissist or covert narcissist in the documentary. It wasn't a real diagnosis. I think he calls him that for himself that for sympathy. But if he is a narcissist, like an MPD narcissist diagnosable, then it is deep self-loathing. Remember, these are sick people, right? Deep, deep sense of, a, of senses of self-loathing. Look, the homeless crisis is a mental health crisis. Boogie is a mental health crisis. Boogie, this is not a reasonable person's decisions, right? Like reasonable people manage to get minimum wage jobs. Guys, reasonable people figure it out. Even if they're struggling, they're really figuring it out. Boogie has had opportunity after opportunity. He has struggled and found success. He cannot get his life together. Adults who cannot get their life together, that is a mental health crisis. And it's on a spectrum. And he's just on an extreme spectrum of I can't get my life together. That's my opinion. I, again, I can't give him the sympathy or empathy that he needs. Like I'm not, I have other people I need to invest in, right? Like people who are doing the work. But I do think, you know, Boogie is a part of that bubble. He's a part of that group of people, you know? I just think there's something going on. But also a big part of it is choice. But I don't know how much of his free will he knows how to evoke, which is why I say it's introspection. So he's mentally ill. That's number one. But I don't think his mental illness alone is the reason he can't function because he seems to be able to tell the difference between like eating food and not eating food, <coughs> spending money and not spending money. So there's some line in his life where he could get better, but then he can't get better. Maybe because of mental illness <clears throat> or chooses not to get better because of introspection. And the truth is, is we don't know which one it is. I'm just trusting you here. But actually yeah. giving back the 5K you're going to be making back to the community, locking it, making sure that uh, people aren't going to get hurt further. No, I'm, I'm going to pay my medical bills next month with that last half. And I'm sorry to anybody that's disappointed with that. I have. I get it. There's no way he's not going to spend that money. Itcher says, I'm surprised no one's swooping in to be Boogie's manager to micromanage him and take a huge cut of the revenue, even if they take advantage of him. It's probably better than this weird ass ass everything. I think somebody tried and they they couldn't work with him, right? Haven't people tried to work with Boogie? And he won't. He won't work with people. He's he's impossible to work with. An $1,100 medication plus a $300 medication. I get a bunch of med I want to buy medicine with it, man. And if, if people are disappointed with that, I fully understand that. It's a shitty thing to do, and I'm a shitty person for doing it. You can have that opinion, and I'm okay with it. Wow. Um, that said. Morals. About burning the Yeah, Boogie, Boogie also has, like, no morals, right? So he doesn't give a fuck if you think he's a shitty person. He will exploit the fact that he's a shitty person to make money from you. Those are his morals. That's what he thinks is right or wrong. Coins, I, it's something I'll have to seriously consider. Uh, my immediate answer is it, it, I'll need to survey the damage. I'll need to understand what people have lost. I'll need to understand um, how much good burning those coins will do. And if, it, if it's going to make a genuine impact, uh, I, I think I'd consider making the sacrifice, yes. I think I would make the sacrifice if I thought it was going to make a genuine impact. Uh, I, d I don't believe you. I think <laughs> you're going to try to get as much money out of this as you can. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, if it's probably the last thing I'll get to do, and I bet after this video is live, I don't think a lot of people are going to trust me moving forward. Uh, that might be the smart move, but I'm still going to consider that. Well, that. you, I mean, you did just sell out your community and your answer is sort of like, oh, I have bills, but... Look, everyone's got bills. You have uh, medical bills. That's horrible. Obviously. The thing that's stressful about Boogie is he has bills like everybody else, but he also has status unlike everybody else. So that's what's so frustrating about him is he literally has status. He has eyes on him. He has more access to making money than the average person does and then refuses to make it. it he has money literally sitting on the table and then he's like, I have no money. And that's why it's so offensive. 
Because it's like, my bro, you're not even trying to contend with the market. Like, you're not even trying to, like, there is literally money on the table. And then you are literally crying in the corner talking about how there's not money. Well, everybody else doesn't even have a table to begin with, let alone money. Obviously, you know, I, I wish you the best, but is there not any other way to make money than launching meme coins? Well, I'm currently selling every collectible I own to try to keep my head above water. Um, I'm making YouTube videos as much as I can, but I make $20 a YouTube video if I'm lucky uh, because my channel is completely demonetized. I have my podcast and I'm working as hard at the podcast as they'll let me, uh, but there's only so much we can do there and it's bringing in $2,000 a month. Um, so collectively, I'm bringing in about $3,500 a month. Without medical bill bills, I need about six grand to survive. With medical bills, I need close to eight or nine, and I've run out of savings. So I'm selling everything I can to just try to keep my head above water here. And I think it might go uh, – I, I know we made a big joke out, out of it on the, the documentary that I filmed last year, but the reality of it is I'm very sick, and it's very difficult to get work. I took this opportunity because I thought it was a fair one. If it's not, then I'm going to ask – Why – okay, let me ask you this. If every op other opportunity in your life is not paying a ton of money – and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a crypto token wants to pay you $10,000. You think that's suddenly going to be a fair thing? I mean, everyone knows, like, everything's about risk, reward. The shadiest peoples pay the most money. Why did you think that was, oh, that's going to be fine? Because in my experience, a lot of these crypto bros are multi-millionaires. To them, $10,000 is a blink of an eye. They could burn $10,000 on their front lawn. No, they're paying it to make money from your fan base. I thought it was as a dream. I thought it was as a joke. I thought it was- Don't, don't, don't. Don't be stupid. You're not allowed to be this stupid. You're just not. You cannot be this stupid. Oh, I just thought they were doing it for the meme. I'm so fun. But just, you know they're making money off you. Come on, businesses only invest in you if they can make money off of you. No one, business people don't, they're not charities. Boogie. Like they're not charities. Why do people think business people are charities? They want to make money, period. They're not going to deal with you if they don't want to make money off of you, period. It was a bit. The joke is they're getting rich or what? Do a bit. Do what? The joke is they're getting rich or Bro. what? Bro. Bro. I hope they're not getting rich because uh, I sure is shitting from it. I hope nobody's losing money, and I hope <sighs> they're not taking it. I hope nobody's taking money from this. I hope nobody loses money. Well, that's impossible when you have $3 million in trading volume. It's just impossible well, that no one's lost money here. As I told you, my friend, I did not expect anything like that. I, I certainly didn't. I'm I so tried far. to tell you. I tried to tell you before you made that post announcing the actual yeah. coin. I mean, you told me five minutes before I made it. Yeah, and I appreciate that. Thank you. You tried, and I appreciate it. Oh, he's so insufferable. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. How do we stop influencers from doing this, Boogie? Everyone's taking these deals. Everybody wants to get rich, and they don't care if their fans suffer. Well, I mean, what do you think we can do? Just tell me. What can I do to educate people? Because this is like a Sisyphusian battle. Every day it's someone else selling out. What can I do? How can I educate people? Had someone... Give me a moment to think about it. I'm sure this will be edited a little bit. I hope, because I'm going to need a pause here if that's okay. So I really want to think it through. Um, you need to get the message out that there is no such thing as a safe promotion for this, that there is no such thing as uh, people not losing money. If you're telling me everyone's losing money on this guaranteed, then I needed to have the understanding that no matter what I did, all I was doing was stealing from somebody. I didn't think that. I didn't understand that. You're telling me that now and I'll never do anything like this again. Oh, yeah, right. I'll, I'll do my due diligence here. If a crypto company offered him $100,000, do you think he'd do it again? Do you think he'd do it again? I do have some integrity and I'm going to do the work that I'm paid to do. But after that, I'll never do this again because <laughs> you are telling me the only op outcome is that people get ripped off. I, I, if I had that understanding going into this, I would not have done it. Okay. Thanks, Boogie. Uh, I appreciate it. I hope yeah, you get I really better. You, I hope I, I hope you, uh, you get better with your sickness. And um, Yeah, it's cancer, man. It, uh, you don't, it, people don't generally get better. Uh, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Have a good one. Thank you. Well, fuck. I'm going to like the video.
that was pretty good. He's so negative. He's just the most Debbie Downer human I've ever seen. I'm open with boundaries. If there is a person in my life like this, I love you. I don't need to hang around you. I love you. I can't hang out with you. If this was my brother, I'd be like, good luck, bro. This is the kind of family member I don't give money to. This is the kind of family member I don't bail out. This is the kind of family member that when they call for help, you give them three chances and then they're out. This is the kind of family member that when the funeral happens, you're a little relieved. I said what I said. I said what I said. In my personal opinion, that's how it goes. I don't got the patience today. I've dealt with so many grownups. This is a grownup. This is a very much grownup person who is always the victim. No matter how many people he, people he hurts, no matter what happens, what goes wrong, he's the victim and you're never the victim. It's only him. He's the victim. It's too exhausting. And I hope one day we figure out how to help these people or they figure out how to help themselves. Of course, it's always a combination of both, but absolutely not. Ooh, absolutely not. Ooh, girl. Hannah says cancer doesn't give you immunity to be a piece of shit. That's the thing. That's the thing. Boogie acts like him being sick is the reason he's allowed to be an asshole. And it's not. It's just not. In my head, in real life while I'm dead, my belly's being fed and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine, not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed, so why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking yeah i'm sick of reaching out for the truth and living life as a fool dun, dun, dun.